Yo, what's going on everyone? Derek here today, bringing you all another video. Thank you so much for tuning back into the channel, and I uh, hope each and every one of you are having a blessed day. Blue 2 valve is officially up for sale. A uh, little backstory, I know that, you know, I obviously sold the black 88 Fox body that sold within 24 hours, and then I actually had a subscriber put a deposit on Blue 2 valve, and pretty much what it boiled down to is he was trying to get a title to his truck that he paid off from Vroom, and they are fighting him on it for some reason because initially he was just going to trade in his truck to CarMax they were going to buy it out and he was going to use that cash to buy this car but fast forwarding three to four weeks now unfortunately he was unable to make that happen and uh, I just wanted to go make this video to to be fair to everybody because I did have a lot of people offer uh, will make offers on the car and I pretty much denied them because of that deposit I really don't want to go and sell the car but I know I have to because I did pick up my dream new edge the Terminator Cobra and though those on the market right now are definitely a spicy price tag. That one I paid $29,000 cash for it and I kind of had the front, um, the sale from this car to get that. So the bank account kind of took a hit, uh, that's that's for sure. But Black Fox Body sold and Blue 2 Valve is officially for sale and I'm going to go and give you guys a walk around and start it up and just pretty much show you and tell you everything you need to know and I'm hoping a subscriber watching this right now takes interest in this car because it would be super cool to have somebody that has watched this car pretty much growing up because it's been on the channel for five years now. So it would be awesome to see somebody that has watched this car, watched me get my dream car and can now enjoy it as much as I have in the past. So uh, that's the goal. But without further ado, let's go jump into Blue 2 Valve. Let's take a look at everything. And uh, whew, here we go, guys. <laughs> We're doing this again. So starting off, the car is a 1999 anniversary Bright Atlantic Blue Mustang GT with the 4.6 liter 2 valve. Uh, you can see, you know, the car is in really, really good condition considering it's from 99 and, you know, I'm going to sound like a broken record because I've said this before, but believe it or not, this is a factory color. Again, Bright Atlantic Blue. I want to say the paint code is K2 and um, back in 99, they actually made a thousand of these in this color. And the cool thing is, not only did they make a thousand, but they only made 500 in GT. So this is quite honestly a rare car. Um, it's more rare than my Cobra. They made 635 with this spec. That's not even counting just the paint. So just the paint alone, one of 500 right here. And um, it definitely breaks my heart a little bit knowing I won't have a Bright Atlantic Blue New Edge anymore, and I wish the Cobra was, that'd be really sick. But I did want to let those know who haven't watched the channel before, um, this is a really, really rare paint code. And, uh, you know, the car cleans up really nice, and the color is just awesome in both shade and the sun. Just by looking at the car, though, one of the first things you can notice, we do have the Terminator Cobra front bumper. Um, yes, I was a Fobra boy back in the day. I just, you know, I love the way the Cobra bumper looks on these cars, on the new edge, that is, because it sits lower. And that's what really what I wanted was just, uh, you know, a better ground effect looking bumper. And no, I didn't like the Celines or anything like that. And I thought the Terminator one looked the best. And plus, with the Vortec V3 SI supercharger that's on the car, that intercooler looks absolutely killer peeking through there. And uh, it definitely looks better than the heat exchanger on my actual Cobra. So with the bumper though, you can see it does have a little bit of fender gap and that is simply due to the intercooler piping. And the piping uh, is a full routed system. It's a blow through setup. We'll look more into that in just a moment, but the, uh, the, the elbows of the piping kind of push against the fog light housing and uh it does have fog light lenses in there but the fog lights don't work because you can't plug them up because of the intercooler so i don't know if many people are really going to care about that i'm sure you could fabricate it to make it work but it doesn't currently have the fog lights plugged in uh so you know it does have the little bit of bumper gap though nothing too crazy and again that's just simply because of the intercooler moving on to the side we have the cobra folding mirrors which are paint matched in bright atlantic blue i uh, got some old garage door trim side splitters i see a lot of people rocking them these days and you know it works it's cheap it's like 17 bucks but we've had still have those on there um what else we got so the headlights and taillights are indeed wrap tinted so if you didn't like how dark these were and they won't pass inspection like this just keep that in mind little secret just go and buy some stock ones throw them in get inspected then throw these back on they're like 40 bucks so i just want to be transparent with you um i can't see shit 
you can't see shit at night driving this with these headlights. Uh, just putting that out there. So if you want to take them off, they'll peel right off and that's that. But let's go ahead and talk about the wheel and tire setup on this car. We are running the Raystar Drag Pack. We have a 17 inch wheel up front and we have a 15 inch wheel in the back. Um, on the rear here we have 275, 50, 15 Mickey Thompson ET Streets and these both have less than 100 miles on them. Um, I threw them on and I just truly have not driven the car. Uh, it, it wasn't inspected and it wasn't registered for the longest time. I ended up moving in that process. So I just haven't been able to drive it much, but they are practically brand new. And that reminds me, the car is lowered on SVE coilovers. So you will need to get an alignment. You can see it has a little bit of camber to them. So an alignment is definitely a must but um, I do have it really low. I know a lot of people aren't gonna agree with that with the drag setup, but I would just wanted to go and have that look for a little bit. And I do have the spanner wrenches to raise them up if need be. And uh, it has new ball joints. That's another thing. I think some new rear shocks. Um, what else we got? It does have four inch black rolled exhaust tips and it is paired up with uh, Borla Stingers with an off-road X pipe. So, you know, that two valve, it has an awesome sound to it. Probably one of the best sounding um, two valve setups you can get. And that's exactly why, you know, I got some boreless stingers going on this bad boy because I love that muffler. So stay tuned for that. Up here on the windshield cowl, the cowl isn't cracked or anything, but you know, the weathering strip did age a little bit and starts to come off, but you could probably honestly get that glued back down. It'd be fine. I don't know if you'd want to swap that out. I do have the windshield wipers. I just took them off because I was actually going to throw caps on this because it looks a lot cleaner and I'll probably end up doing that with the Cobra as well. So I do have those. Uh, has a fresh roof wrap. I had this redone by Alec with um, Aberrant Restyling and it has a fresh deck lid wrap. As you can see, some stickers with the Mustang and then the wrap down there. So that's all fresh and he's the one that actually did the headlights and taillights too. Got these little quarter markers um, tinted off and yeah, black badges. God, that's a throwback Redo Blue episode right there. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else cosmetic wise that I may be missing. I do want to say with the paint being from 1999, it definitely has some imperfections. Nothing crazy though. This car has never ever been paint corrected or ceramic coated in my possession. I know the two owners that had it when I first sold it definitely didn't do it. So I can only imagine this bright Atlantic blue paint with a two step paint correction and a ceramic coating. I, I'm not going to do it because if I do that, I'm going to end up keeping the car. And uh, we don't want to do that. It, it looks good now, but I guarantee you it'll really, really spice this car up. But as far as body like damage, there really isn't any besides your normal wear and tear on paint from 99. So just wanted to throw that out there as well. And before I forget, it does have an aftermarket windshield. Um, I don't really know if that matters to many people. I actually got a chip and cracked mine back in the day. So we threw a new one on that has this tint strip already in the glass. Um, no tint on the windshield, and it has 15% on the side windows, 15% on the rear, and yeah, so 15% all around. And it gives it an awesome look because the interior is all blacked out as well. And I figured we could probably just go ahead and jump into the interior now and uh, get this covered. So in the past about two years, no, hell no, it's been way longer than two years, probably like four years ago, maybe f three or four years ago. Um, this car was originally a gray and black interior. Absolutely disgusting. Hated it. It was dirty. It looked like crap. I'm a firm believer in all black interiors on pretty much any car. So we did the interior swap. You can go watch all those videos for those of you that haven't watched it. I'm not going to get into that, but um, Everything's in really good condition. The only thing is you have that that normal new edge um, starting to pry right here just from pulling it. But I did glue it years ago, so it you know it stays. But that's kind of like the only downside. It does have some Brom racing seats, no tears or anything. The Brom brackets. Uh, it has a aftermarket steering wheel, the SVE, the Alcatara up top with the little line there and some leather on the sides all black dash no cracks no nothing like that center console's all good it works it actually that's a great sound to have um it is a five-speed manual car i threw the cobra shift knob on there so you're getting you're getting a part of medusa when you buy it just keep that in mind and uh touch screen does have apple play uh heat and ac do work uh rear seat delete i just recently put in 
and I want to say that's about it. The interior is mint though, for real. The interior is stupid clean, and it's very, very, very hard to find in an older New Edge a clean interior, but this is right up there, and I don't know. And with having the Terminator interior, and then I just got in this to drive it over here, I personally like this more. I really do. It has that, has that nice little feel to it with the steering wheel, the race seats, the rear seat delete, and um, you know, I think it's a sin to do all this to the Cobra. So whoever buys this, uh, you're lucky because I probably won't be able to do this again. Um, boost gauge right there, it does work. And uh, with that, let's go ahead and let's go talk about underneath the hood. All right, so let's go and talk about probably the most exciting part of this car. Um, again, it is a, that is creaky as hell. So, so it probably could use some new hood struts or just lube them up or something, I don't know. This is a stock 4.6 liter two valve. Um, this is the car's second motor. When I first bought it, I think I got scammed, honestly. I think the dude that sold it to me just completely dumped a ton of Lucas oil treatment in the car, and that quieted down the rod knock that it was um, creating. So here I am at 17 years old, beating on a car that already had a rod knock that I wasn't aware of, and it, it threw a rod. So we put a new motor in, and this motor was not your junkyard motor. We actually bought this from a company. We spent... Hell, I think it was $3,000 for the motor shipped. Um, it had 50,000 miles on it. It was all ran through and stuff, all leak down tested and everything. And it actually came with a warranty. Obviously that warranty is, um, is no bueno anymore, but I figured that goes a long way when you hear motor swaps or second motors. So uh, the car currently has, I wanna say roughly, I would say roughly 70,000 miles on it, maybe even less. That's 20,000 miles above um, you know, when we swapped it and I know for a fact, I haven't driven that car 20,000 miles since the new motor. So we'll say 70,000 roughly. Um, but it does have a Vortec V3 SI supercharger. And again, this is fully intercooled. And that's one thing I did do when I bought it back. I went ahead and redid everything. Um, we got a new charge pipe running the blow through setup. You can see we have our MAF up top there. We have all our sensors plugged in, it goes all the way down to the intercooler and then into the blower. Um, I'm not sure how much or how many pounds of boost. I think, I think 10 or 11 PSI and that made right at 438. It made 438 wheel. Uh, it's definitely spicy for a two valve, it really is. So um, I wouldn't recommend pulling it down anymore on um, on this motor, but it is. it sure is fun. It, it runs really, really well. And you guys probably saw, I think, maybe seven or eight months ago, maybe, maybe not even that long, but we went to Kevin, he put it on the dyno, gave it the green light, and uh, you know, I just haven't been able to enjoy it because I just had so much other stuff going on. But seven, or 738, yeah, right. Um, 438 wheel, SAE, SAE Smoothing 5. Um, it's, pretty, it's pretty stout. Um, and I know in one video, you guys saw that I blew the coolant hose line. So let's go ahead and address that. You see that brand new clamp right there? Yes, I went ahead and fixed it properly, so that is not going to blow off on you. You're not going to spit coolant anywhere. So that's all addressed, and um, yeah, I mean, it's it's a pretty clean clean engine bay. It really is, and it's definitely stout, like I said. So let's go ahead and let's let's start this thing up. <laughs> So when it gets to operating temp or at the idle, it does have what you call a dirty math signal. Pretty much when I bought this new charge pipe, it's a little too wide for the math housing. You can see how it opens up. So essentially the blower pushing the air through gives it a dirty math signal. There's nothing wrong with the car. Um, you could probably go and get it refined with the tuner but this is how it idles you can hear it it kind of fluctuates but when you're driving it it's perfect um it's just something with this blower and that charge pipe i didn't know when i bought it it's probably why somebody sold it because it was doing the same thing but it runs great
So it does have a Tile Q 50 millimeter blow valve. It sounds sick, it really does, especially driving. You can really hear it um, whoosh a lot, so to speak. But you know, the car is really clean, man. And the more and more I film it right now, the more and more I don't want to get rid of it. But I want to see it go to a great home. It's an awesome car, especially for a two valve platform. You have the rarity of the color. It's a beautiful looking car with a lot of potential. 438 wheel horsepower, an awesome interior. Your Apple Play, heat, AC, it really has all you want in a new edge. So I just went ahead and listed everything with the car, what it needs, what it has. Um, it's truly an awesome car, guys. This thing has meant a lot to me throughout the years. I've just, you know, I've had to make the jump to the Terminator Cobra. Therefore, I just know if I kept this, it's not going to get the attention it deserves and it's not going to be driven like it should be driven. I want somebody that is looking for a Mustang. I want somebody that has been watching the channel and pretty much has ties like I do to this car. Come and get it because I want to see it go to a great home and uh, someone enjoy it. You know, I really want to see it enjoyed. With that being said, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about numbers. So I'm going to just go ahead and tell you if you don't like it, move on. Um, I've, I've already heard everything under the sun when I sold it the first time. Like I said, like two and a half years ago, I ended up selling the car for $13,000 cash. If you buy the car, I'm willing to completely set you up with a channel and people that are going to be tuning in instantly. So keep that in mind. That has a definite value behind it. The sky's the limit with how far you want to take it. Um, yeah, that's just a little bonus. $15,000 or best offer. The least I can say is no. That's honestly, that's all I can say. But I do want to see it appreciated and I want somebody to enjoy it. Well, there's the video for today, guys. I know it's kind of a sour one and many won't agree with it. Trust me, I know this freaking color compared to the Black Cobra looks killer. But, you know, we moved up. We moved on. And this car has been awesome. I, I can't stress that enough. Trust me, this is not an easy video to make for the second time. But, you know, it is what it is. At the end of the day, it is just a car. And I'm in it for enjoyment and for business, for content. I've got all that worth out of it. And now it's time to pass the torch again um, for Blue 2 Valve. So please, please respect my decision on this. And if I were very, very wealthy, trust me, I would keep it just to keep it. But I don't, I, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with keeping it and having it parked in the spot. You know, kind of like this Fox body where it just collects snow and just sits there, doesn't get driven or anything. So I, I hope you guys can respect that. And I hope you respect my decision. Hope you guys still, you know, mess with the channel. We have a lot of stuff coming on the Terminator Cobra. So, you know, it's just crazy to have this car in my possession. And just know, guys, this DVP SVT, this was, this was a dream of mine from the very, very beginning. And if you're a true OG and not making judgments with me selling this car again, you'll know that this was the main topic of the channel at one point in time. Like, I wanted a Terminator Cobra more than anything. And now that I got one, it's time to just make the bigger decision and get rid of this car because I got some expenses coming. I want to move to Florida. Ramina and I have our wedding coming, and I just initially can't have, you know, all this money tied up in cars. So, uh, someone come get her. Someone email me, DerekBarronProductions at gmail.com. Um, serious offers only. Again, 15000 cash or best offer. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you later this week.